Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4K to 147. And it's time to move on to the last messy box. Um, though it's not really messy, but it's messy compared to this box um, of spare diamonds. So what I'm doing currently is I am making my spare diamonds pretty. Or prettier. They're, they're pretty pretty um, in the first instance. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm moving over any diamonds that I do have to these thicker bags um, that I was gifted by Diana. What I'm also doing is for any DMC numbers where I do not have any spares, so for example this 3011, I am popping bags into my spares box for each so that they're ready. Um, in addition to that, what I'm also doing is I am limiting the amount of spares that I have. So I am going to have one bag of spares per shape and that's sort of the maximum that I'll go to. After that, unless I am using it for the likes of my heaven and earth design, diamond painting, um, which I am doing using spares, anything that's in these boxes that goes outside of a bag, I am going to sort out something else for those. I'm not sure what yet. It probably will be along the same lines as this system, but maybe not with these pretty stickers and bags. It might just be with my original bags. Um, and any that are then left over, I am going to check out a, a local to me Facebook group where people can ask for any diamonds that are left over and share them. Share them with the people that need them. So yes, I am moving diamonds from one bag to another, which can be seen as, you know, could be seen as a little bit pointless. And in a, a little way it is. However, I like it because I like them all pretty and organised and I find that I'm finding that these thicker bags stand up a lot nicer. They're a lot nicer to work with as well. So I'm using the small DMC stickers from my website, from my shop, that are all labelled up in DMC numbers used in diamond painting and I have a round one for round diamonds and a square one for square diamonds. I'm not sure if that's actually focusing properly uh, but I'm going to have one for each whether I have spare diamonds or not because I just don't want the spare sticker sheet otherwise. I'd rather have them all stuck on packets and I'm finding that it's making my spare storage a lot easier, one, to flip through, because there's a bag in between each card, which stops, if I don't have any diamonds, it stops them sticking together. So I find it a lot easier to flip through and find the number I want. And I find by limiting it, I won't have this little disaster here, which is all one color. By limiting it, I will just have a bag of each and that will be a lot nicer to work with. I knew I should have changed my battery before I started filming. <laughs> it's always the way. Normally I can sometimes get a few different videos out of a camera battery, um, but sometimes if I have done you know, a longer video or filmed a longer video beforehand. Doesn't like it as much. Okay, so for 3024, I do have both rounds 
and squares. Um, but as you saw in the first, the first sort of batch I did, I didn't have any DMC, any diamonds for those DMC numbers. And in turn, that caused the cards to sort of clump together. So these cards are also um, from my shop, as are the labelled. They were done previously and made pretty. But now I'm just sort of taking it to that extra step, doing a little bit each week to just bring in these new small labels with DMC numbers on and I absolutely love this system. It has worked for me since I created it and um, the actual photo boxes I have been using for about three years. Um, this way of storing diamonds has been absolutely perfect. What I have changed as I've gone along is just making it a little bit prettier, so putting on these labels. So for example here, I actually don't have any of this number, but it would get stuck in the box, which would, which would, I'd find it hard to then see the number behind. So I am finding that by putting in the bags, it gives that little gap between one card and the next and it means that I can flip through and actually see them all and the bag's already there so that saves a step when de-kitting. It means I can just pull out the bag and it either has diamonds in it already or it doesn't depending on whether I've had them before and I know the last de-kitting I did um, of course, I've part done the storage now. So the first couple of boxes were like really nice to de-kit. And when I came across a number that I um, didn't have, there was a bag there ready for it and it was loads easier. Um, I do have sort of created an extra step for myself now in the fact that I do limit how many diamonds I will keep hold of. So if the bag is full, I am creating a step to create another bag. But in effect, I had to do that anyway when I was de-kitting beforehand. When I was de-kitting, if I didn't have the number, then I had to create a new bag. And if the number that I was doing, the bag was full, then I'd have to create a new bag. So I've eliminated one of those steps. But if you have a look here, so this is quite a full bag and you can see it all sort of sinks to the bottom and it's quite dodgy. Because these are more rigid, you can't fit as many diamonds in there. But I still think if I ever ran out, I could fit in plenty. Um, so we'll put that amount in for now. So that's sort of a nice amount in there. When I de-kit, I could possibly fit a few more in if I only had a few diamonds left, but it is nowhere near as thick as the old one and it stands up like a soldier. And what will happen now is these, in fact, if I pop that baggy insert back in, because I had to put an insert in just to help those bags stand up, I might have to with these, but for now they're okay. Um, I do have a, currently have a plant pot from Ikea under my desk um, where I'm popping all of those and I'll arrange a suitable storage when I've finished sorting all these out. So we'll pull out the next lot, 3042. Now, some of these I don't have square diamonds in my spare storage and that is purely because I am using them up in my heaven and earth designs so for example I'm pretty sure 3042 is a number that my heaven and earth design takes so all the square diamonds 
are with that project. They're kept separate. But what will happen is once that project is finished, I will move over any I have left into this. That's going to be a bit of a, a mammoth de-kitting, is it not? Okay, let's move these bags up a little bit. These are just helping these to stay upright until I get a few more fill in the gap. Um, but some of them, it quite purely is the fact that I haven't got those diamonds yet. So for example here, 3045, I have a bag with squares in, but I don't have any rounds. And that's just because I've not had a project yet that I need round diamonds for. That I've had round diamonds in, sorry. That I've had any in, or if I've had them in, I've not had any spares. Some numbers are more popular than others. 3046, I don't have any of either type of diamond for that one, so I'll just pop blank ones on. I'm sure there will be the odd DMC number that I do have listed out of the few hundred that I've got. I'm sure there will be a couple that maybe diamond painting companies do not use at all, so therefore I'm never going to get them. <laughs> and nobody else is ever going to get them either. But it, it's not possible to know each and every diamond painting colour that each and every company uses. So all I can go by is what was the current DMC list of numbers, um, not including the, the sort of really new ones that they brought out, number one to something. They brought out some, some really recent ones, like one, one, two, three, etc. And I know they aren't used in diamond painting. But apart from that, um, some of these numbers have been discontinued by DMC. But I have had them in diamond paintings. So therefore, they still stay in my number list. Because I'm going to have diamonds that appear from them. And it may be that the numbers may change over time. They may add some more in. Who knows? All I can do is work with what I know at the moment. And this is what I'm pretty sure is a safe list. In the three years now, well, there was a couple of numbers that sort of appeared that um, had been discontinued from my original DMC list. Sorry, I'm just checking my bags. They do have, um, these bags do have sort of a taller side and a shorter side. And I'm just trying to make sure the shorter side is at the front. Um, and I've lost my train of thought. I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, 3053, I don't have any. So yeah, it may be that things change in the future in regards to DMC numbers, but at the moment I'm pretty sure I've covered the basis of all DMC numbers. I've not been told any different, which I'm sure I would have if it was the case. I know I did have one company that gave me a completely random number once. Um, all the diamonds in, in the diamond painting did have a DMC number. It was marked down as having a DMC number. And most of them matched bar one. Um, it, was, it wasn't even one that appears in any DMC number chart, discontinued or current. And it turned out they'd used the number for anchor cross stitch threads just for this one diamond. And when I converted it to the closest match for DMC, the colour matched. But I've only ever had that once. I can't even remember what company it was. So I don't know if they still do it or if they fixed it. But I did definitely have one completely random number that threw me for a little while until I realised what they'd done. 
Um, but when I used to cross stitch when I was younger, my myself and my mum who was cross stitching as well, initially started with anchor threads. Um, I don't know why it was one of those. The, there was two different types of threads. There was DMC and there was anchor, and we chose anchor at the time. Um, but we did end up switching to DMC, and I've sort of stuck with that cross stitch wise ever since. But because we did use anchor for a time and converted to DMC for some charts until we realised it wasn't working with some more detailed charts. Um, I knew that there was conversions out there and that it was a possibility. So I went on the hunt and figured it out. It just took me a while. Okay, get in there. And I'm throwing all the bags and all the baggy insert paper and stuff to the side. I will end up taking the, the stickers off those baggies and reusing them. I'm going to reuse them for my you know, spares to give away. Or maybe if I've got a project where I've got extra diamonds, I'm going to reuse them for that as well. So rest assured, they will get used. So 3328, so we're up to the three threes already. This is my box of 3000s. I think we get through the three sixes and I've actually got quite a few in this row. I don't have as many numbers in the next row, but that is because of this chunk. So next week we'll see how long the row takes and maybe we can get both of them done. Who knows, we'll have to see, because there is quite a lot of ones without diamonds in there. So it may still take a good chunk of time, but we'll see. Okay, so 3340, this is like, this is a proper orange. I'd say that's, that's very close to being fluorescent orange. And I've actually got that in both. But I do like my kits with a pop of colour, so maybe that's why. I do like doing diamond paintings that have that nice pop to them. So it's not a bad thing. If I ever run out, I have an option. I have them in rounds and squares, should I run out. Okay. Three, three, four, one. I only have rounds available in those. But I say I am going to label up for both. And we'll just pop the rounds away. And if I ever get squares, I've got a bag. And it does make de-kitting so much nicer when it's pretty like this it really does it's it's quite enjoyable to deke it even between this one and this one I found it very nice to, um, a lot nicer to to deke it when they're like this I find it a lot easier to find the number and stuff so okay so this one doesn't have any So label per bag and in it goes. Might have to remove another one of these bags to give myself room. They're just holding it up. Oh, in fact, I have quite a few here now. All of these don't I don't have any bags for. So we can speed through some of these numbers. Get through a few more stickers maybe than last time and it is a lot quicker if you're not changing bags and things but this process isn't I find this is this is therapeutic and um, I enjoy the organizing 
side of things so I enjoy I've enjoyed every step of making this storage and even you know making the storage more pretty each step of it whether it be initially putting on these stickers you know labeling up the bags because I did just originally use a round sticker for rounds and a rectangle sticker for squares I've enjoyed each time I've sort of given this a mini revamp I find it very calming it's a bit like diamond painting but it's, it's different in the fact that you know you're working with stickers and bags rather than little diamonds but sometimes it can be a nice break to you know make your spare diamond storage or make it pretty and it's still hobby related but it's different um, and it's nice to just sort of break it up over a few evenings okay three three five four we're past halfway through this last sheet exciting times I am going to be so I'm going to be disappointed when this is done because I've enjoyed doing these videos but I'm going to be so excited to kitting when they're all done I like organizing stuff I like to finesse stuff that I have organised to just make it that little bit better after living with stuff. Um, and I must say, what while I've not changed this storage really from the basic concept, um, I have, you know, as it's evolved, I found that it was too many bags per number that was starting to be, you know, the thing that wasn't working for me. Um, so to actually have a plan and a limit to how many of, of a particular diamond colour that I keep um, and having a system for the rest um, is, is perfect for me. It's sort of exactly what I needed okay so I still have more bags oh there we go what am I on next three three six three I have a few more bags left out of that sort of bag of about a hundred but I do have more I have more floating about so I have nowhere near as many of these in rounds as I do in squares but that's also the way it goes sometimes. It depends on what images I've done, whether the seller gives DMC numbers or not. Of course, some DMC, some paintings that haven't had DMC numbers, I have managed to find out the DMC numbers. And I do have videos on how I did that. There was a couple of ways that it can be done. And you sort of do the option that suits you the best. But obviously I have a lot more of those with a couple of different shades. And I know some people prefer to keep different shades in separate places. Um, whereas I am more than happy to combine them. I did used to keep them separate so it was something I did do. I kept them separate. Um, in fact, I used to just deke it into a bag and all the bags would just go in. Um, it then got to the point where it was like too many bags. So I started combining bags but keeping shadings separate. It then got, that then got to a point where it was, it was too many. It was just too many bags per number, which has always been the thing that I've not been keen on. And that's probably some of the tweaks that I've done. And it was at that point that it became, they just all go in the same bag. If I need the spares for a painting, 
So if I should run out, oh, we've got lovely static in this one. Um, should I run out of a colour, then apart from flicking diamonds everywhere, um, what I'm likely to do is I'm likely to just tip them out into a large tray and pick the one that suits the best. People do say if you breathe in the bag, it can help stop the static. So I've just done it a little bit, just to see if it'll help those that are going in. Get in. You can always add a little you know, dryer sheet or something in there as well. But that's quite nice and full. That'll stand up right now. Um, the squares, I have those in my Heaven and Earth designs. So I do have multiple spares of that as well. Okay, we're on to the three sixes. And I've got some little sort of trashy bits that have come out of the bag and they can all go on the rug in my craft room and I'll hoover up later. When I tend to have done a lot of, you know, kitting ups or de-kittings, I do find that in, in here gets hoovered as much as um, I make sure that I also hoover the um, space where I sit and diamond paint. Because diamonds just keep appearing on my couch. Like, I finished... Um, a square diamond painting you know I, I finished sort of a batch of square diamond paintings and I was only working on a round one and yet square ones would just appear on my seat on the couch for about three or four days afterwards and I'm like why are they still appearing and where are they coming from because I've been diamond painting with rounds I don't know they just appear Diamonds, they just, yeah, they are forever in our lives. So now, whenever one appears, I just smile. Because why not? I just keep hoovering and keep smiling. And if they appear, they appear. And that's fine. I do prefer it when it's the nice bright colours that appear, but that hasn't been the diamond paintings I've been doing recently, so I suppose that's the reason it's more browns and greens that appear instead. Okay, take that second bag out because it's getting quite full there. 3609. I think we're going to end up getting a couple more rows done by the looks of this. We've still got a chunk in here so it does seem as though this row has a lot a lot of diamonds in it a lot of numbers i don't think i'm going to fit into two boxes which is a little bit disappointing i was kind of hoping it would fit into two but having said that even if it did fit into two I don't know how long it would have taken before it would have had to go back to going into three anyway. So I suppose I will now be making decisions according to them being in three from the off. Um, and I'll still have room, you know, to grow, not in the fact of the amount of bags that are in there, but in relation to the amount of, you know, diamonds that I have, they are going to, you know, push the storage. That means I do need to nudge it over into another row. That is going to happen eventually because I can't really, you know, know how much space to leave if both those bags were full when they're not full. So I just have to work with what I have at the moment. So three, six, eight, seven. One round. Or 
we've only got these two from the three sixes. Oh no, we've not, we've got a third. And then we do move on to the three seven hundreds, but the three six hundreds, there's not many of them anyway. I don't know whether they decided to use that number and then decided to ditch it, I don't know. I know I prefer the numbers that are three digits. They're easier for me to remember when I'm getting up. But, okay, so I need diamonds out of bags out of another pack, of which I still have plenty. I was just checking which way round again that they open. Um, but if you do want any more information, ah, 3688, I don't have any. Um, if you do want any more information on this spare storage, any information on you know the products that we do sell for it um, or even just how you can make your own you know and you can do it yourself you don't have to buy stuff for it that you know the, the stuff that you can purchase makes it easier and makes it prettier but it is no by no means a must there are many people that create and use this storage without purchasing anything uh, because I do have videos on it and details on the sizing and stuff that I've used and that is all available on my website. So just head over to 4 at 147com It will be linked down below. Um, I do have a section called diamond painting videos and there is a section in there about my spare storage so you can see how it's evolved over time. There is also a section called our favourites where I do have again a spare storage section with links to many of the items that are used. Um, and then there is also the shop, which has things like these stickers um, for making the boxes pretty. It's all linked there on the website, so do feel free to go and have a browse and a nosy and see if a system like this would work for you. You can also um, join our Facebook group as well. There are many people over there sharing how their spare storage looks. Some people have gone for different colours than me. Some people have, have gone for, of course, different storage type boxes, even different size storage boxes. There's loads and loads of different ideas over there different ways of doing it that maybe will, I don't know, click with you more, suit you more. Lots and lots of options. Come on, why is it always a couple that just like to stick right behind the label so you can't always see them? There we go. Just play in that peekaboo. Um, and I might actually add another piece of foam to this storage box. I'm going to decide once it's all done. But somebody did mention it as an idea because these two rows sort of, you know, butt up to each other and line up really nice. But there is a little bit more gap here. Now, I am going to use the foam to make it line up nice. But if I actually had another piece down the side... It would have no choice. It would have to stand to attention and look nice and look pretty because there's no other option. It's got nowhere else to go. So I might do that yet, but part of me wants to make sure that everything is in and done before I tweak those bits because then I'm working with I'm working with the bags and the, you know the, the cards haven't changed, but I'm working with the bags and the system and 
and all the rest of it in its completed state rather than messing about with it with, for example, all this many diamonds that I don't think I'm ever going to go through that many of that colour. Not unless the original painting that I have them from, which did have a lot of that background colour, you know, was, was ever something that the canvas was sent to me with no diamonds on it. Then I might go through them. But it was an ever moment and they give loads and loads of spares. So I'll probably have close to being, well, no, it's probably not double, but it's probably at least a third of the amount that I used in that original painting. Okay, 3726, need more bags. It's amazing how quick I'm going through these bags. Okay, 3726. Not got long to go on the stickers though. Trying to sort of work out where this row ends stickers wise so I can tell where I want to. So that row starts with 3756. So in effect we have just short of a full row still to do. But that is a good chunk of the stickers gone considering I've emptied one sheet already. This bag's filled up nicely. That's, I like them when they're sort of filled like that. It means that if I only have a few diamonds left from a painting, there's room for them. But if I have a load left, I can just choose to put them straight into my, you know, pass on to others storage. Okay, 3727. Three, seven, two, seven. So close to the end. I wish I had more time to just finish it off. Um, but unfortunately, I don't. Not to do it and to know what to talk about on camera the whole time, for definite. So we'll have to be a bit more patient. Um, but it's, it's an enjoyable process. I actually do like sort of spreading it out a little bit. It's quite nice that, you know, it is getting done over time. And it gives me chance as well to sort of, it's given me chance to test it out for me. So I have, of course, been de-kitting and I have done de-kitting videos while working on this storage so I have had chance to de-kit some that are in you know the thicker bags and you know the pretty storage compared to what's well, still pretty but not as pretty and not as organized and it, it's been nice to sort of enjoy that difference. I have really enjoyed de-kitting more so the first part um, of, of de-kitting a kit which involves the nice uh, storage um, and the really pretty storage compared to de-kitting the rest. Okay so I'm just going to use this piece of foam board to sort of shuffle that one along. It's not sitting quite as nice because I can't quite get down to the bottom but I do think I'm definitely going to add that sort of extra piece of foam. I'm not sure whether I'm going to add it at the edge or whether I'm actually going to add it in the middle but that is definitely something I'm going to do um, but I'm pretty pretty happy with how full that is. I may get another one in but I may get a few more in, as the same with most of these, but I do like them to be able to move. Because, of course, when I'm adding diamonds, it's going to take a little bit more room. So I'm going to class that one 
as done for now and this is the last part that I need to do so let's put that bag in just to help them so they've got something to prop up to stand up against as I do these last few in this row and then we'll really see a difference next week when I start because all this chunk is going to go into to tiny amounts <laughs> there's going to be a lot of diamonds for passing on as soon as I've finished finish that um, so we'll see how long you know that section takes me next week as to whether I split it into two or whether I get to get it all done it will sort of depend on my time commitments that week um, how many other videos you know need to be filmed for the week before I make that decision but we will get there a few more weeks and then a week of you know tweaking adding more foam maybe, more foam board into each one. I do actually have some A4 foam board in both black and white. I have some in the house, so I don't need to mess about with that. I have also seen it's, um, because I do prefer this photo box design from hobby crafts but unfortunately they don't do this same design anymore but they do have a design that is um, more white it's, I think it's actually classed as sort of a baby photo box it's got cute little farmyard animals on it so it's not hugely baby but it is you know a little bit more cutesy but I might replace my turquoise ones with those to give a little bit more of a uniform look because the animals that are on it are on it in a light black so I'll still have sort of black and white so I might treat myself to some new photo boxes I'll have to see, I need to wait um, it's going to be another few weeks before the likes of Hobbycraft open. I know I can order online but I'm still half and half on whether that's what I want to do. I've not found anywhere else in the UK that sells the photo boxes in the same size that is a design that I like to you know replace them all and the price of the Hobbycraft ones is a really really good price so I sort of keep an eye out and if they bring out a design that I really really like or for any reason they bring this design back then I will definitely be replacing my turquoise ones but if not for now it's okay okay so we're on 3750 so we are getting there final final stretch and then I get to sort out all my bags and baggy inserts that I've been stashing to the side. I'll tidy all those up and then I think it will be brew time. Time for a nice bit of caffeine to keep me going. Okay three seven five two looks like I've got a few different colors in this one I've only got round but there's definitely a few different shades in there and that may be something that you know don't suit doesn't suit some people and that's fine you can always have extra bags and have more bags for different shades some people do their rounds and squares in separate boxes as well. I just don't have the space for that many boxes. I don't have the room. 
which means they need to go in one box for me. So now it's interesting to see, I can't get it into two boxes, that's already been established because I'm on my third box. The question is now, how much space will I have left? Ooh, this bag's throwing diamonds everywhere already. Um, the question is, how much space will I have left on the end of it? I might combine my special diamonds in with these. Um, move those over as well. That's something that I'm thinking of. And then if not, it's a matter of what sort of tools or items to store with these. So it might be back to the point where I can store my extra bags in this in this box in the in the last column. I used to store all sorts. I used to store when I first started it. I think I stored um, spare pens and trays from toolkits before it became the point that I had a ridiculous amount. Um, I used to, used to store my spare big tray in one of these and of course any spare baggies. I used to also have some stickers and stuff in there so maybe I'll do myself um, a little tub with sort of those extra bits so that when I do have diamonds you know where my bag's full and I'm sharing with somebody else maybe that can all be stored in here we'll see but for now we've only got a few in this column so it's definitely we've gained all that amount of room by revamping the storage I still have that full bag I have this bag and I think I have one more. Yeah, I do have one more bag of 100. So we'll put all of those in there now to keep them all together and help that stay upright. But I am really excited to, to get this one well down. Also 3865 as well. I've got far too many. So it'll be interesting to see um, if they can all fit in one or maybe one and a half. And I'll have created a bit more room while also making my spare diamonds pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed my chitter chatter today um, on the next batch of spare storage. Please join me next week um, and we'll get going on that middle column and see how far we can get. Um, and I hope you're enjoying whatever system you've got for your own spare diamonds. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.